Good morning. Well, today we thought we would show you the successes we are having around our little farm here and the things that are dying. <laughs> We're having some failures too. learning I think we're becoming more okay with things living and dying I guess so yep. why don't we start out with uh, trees and then we'll head over to the garden so as you'll recall we planted Tom planted I didn't plant 240 trees there's a mix of maple trees sugar maples and also shade poplars that are supposed to grow 8 to 10 feet a year and then also about 25 spruce trees and so Spruce trees are looking great. Maples are looking great. The poplars, on the other hand, um, we're having some difficulty with. So about 25% of our poplar trees look like this. <laughs> they are, they have nothing on them. The company will replace them, but it's just a bummer because they're supposed to grow eight to 10 feet this first year and there's no way that's growing eight to ten feet <laughs> and so to have to start over with it would be kind of disappointing the other ones they have leaves on them but doesn't look like they're exactly jumping out of the ground yeah this would be one that of the better ones pretty good yeah so but then you look at the maples they've got nice big leaves on them and <laughs> they look they just look really healthy I didn't even want the maple trees and now they're doing the best out of any of them. <laughs> yeah, but look how great this is. I know, they're gonna be beautiful. <laughs> yep. All right, so maple trees living, poplars, jury is still, uh, the jury is still out. I think there's only like 20% dead. Yeah, still kind of a lot with 100 though. All right, let's show you the garden because Tom finished the fence around it, which is really awesome. Ready for MTV Cribs again? Yeah. <laughs> Fun night. <laughs> Tom got the whole perimeter fence done and the gate. And so we're gonna have a link below with all of the dimensions, the final cost of it, um, and things we'd do differently. <laughs> Again. Did you plant these this way? I did plant those that way. Oh yeah, they're starting well, to come why up. Why did you plant them that way? Because it's all different things. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it's coming up, which is exciting. Our tomatoes are doing great, but the weeds are also doing great. So we're gonna try and get that weeded out today. Asparagus, the asparagus is, this was the established asparagus and then we planted more asparagus over there as well that's coming up and, and doing really well. Okay. Yeah, isn't that fun? So now we can backfill some of the dirt again. Yeah, they're all coming up. Yeah, that's awesome. And then over here, we planted 80 strawberry plants. We're not necessarily gonna leave them here, but. No, we're gonna transplant them into the rock bed next year but we yeah. already had pumpkins planted so we so yeah. the drip irrigation is almost done i buried it all the way out to here it pops out we have a valve here and then i ran uh one inch water line i'm sorry half inch water line from here it's one inch from the hydrant out and then it's half inch here and then the drip lines will run out and i got them on each valves so we can control the flow of each drip line so hopefully it makes watering super simple We'll do a full review of it when we have it yeah, up and yeah. functioning and are yeah, using yeah. it. Cucumbers and weeds growing here. <laughs> yeah, cucumbers are beating out the weeds though, so that's... Let's show the potatoes. The potatoes are... Potatoes are rocking. And then these are the potatoes, so we will definitely put those in the living we've, <laughs> category. We've, ne we've never had potatoes grow like this before. Like this is... Yeah. This is crazy compared to what we've ever experienced. And I use the MI Gardener's recommendation of planting a whole potato and not just cutting them off. So he recommended that. This was the density he recommended for a raised bed. So we'll see how it does. Oh, okay. So then in this section, in the boulder section outside of here, we're still gonna run irrigation, but this is where we're putting like our perennial plants. So we have strawberries that we had to transplant from over there. So they're not gonna be do too much this year. Then we just stuck in some pumpkins, but we're gonna fill the rest of this up with strawberries. Tom put a divider of rocks there too so that they don't grow together. And then down here, these are honeyberry bushes. And then we have some raspberries down there. So all of this will fill out and get bigger over time. Somebody asked if we had planted any fruit trees. We actually planted two apple trees. Uh, this one I ran over with a backhoe. <laughs> so it's a little scarred up, but it's surviving quite well. The other one I did not run over. 
and it is dead. <laughs> I'm not sure why this one died. So apple tree is going in the dead <laughs> category, unfortunately. Yeah. And again, they'll replace it, but it's just the hassle now. I'm having to dig it up and go get a different one. And then for our chicken report, they are growing like crazy. <laughs> so they are shedding their yellow feathers, or do they shed them or just grow different ones? I don't even know how it works. I don't know, but they're but getting ugly. They're turning white. They're, they're at their teenage season. Yeah, <laughs> they're adolescents or they're awkward. So once they're fully feathered in their white feathers, then we can move them outside, them outside to a chicken tractor. So they are doing well. All right, and then we also had to put the lawnmower in the dead category <laughs> this week. It's not necessarily dead, but it is not functioning at the moment. <laughs> Somebody may have ran over a dog leash. The cable kind. The cable, and wrecked like it's some wrapped stuff. up really tightly in a mowing deck. <laughs> so. And I and I cut everything out of it, and it still can't turn any of the blades. So. So lawnmower dead, grass with the rain and really hot weather we've had lately. Oh, it's been doing wonderfully. Going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Tom just got the parts, he had to order them. So hopefully they'll be back together this yep. weekend. Um, we also, it was fun last weekend. Tom uh, was planting the sweet corn and, but then in the fields around us, the farmers were planting as yeah, well and getting the fields ready. Don's dad, Don's dad was planting. Planting the field behind our house. So that was really fun. And then they came and cut our hay. Um, so it was just like all this activity going on around here, which was really fun. And so we did get the sweet corn planted. It mm -hmm. got rained on, so that should start coming up soon. And Hopefully yes, we know <laughs> June is very late to put sweet corn in the ground. We're very aware. Yeah. So it's less than a three month growing season though. So it'll probably come up a little later than normal, but yeah. we don't know. The person, the gentleman who lived here before us was known for growing sweet corn. And so we've been trying our best to, to like master it as well, but every year something goes wrong. And so, We'll just see. So we'll see how it goes this year, if it's going to end up in the dead <laughs> category or if it'll if we'll have a bumper crop. So for the rest of the weekend, Tom's going to finish up the irrigation system. We really are excited to try that out and see how it works because it yeah. is getting hot here. Um, and then you're going to fix the lawnmower. Fix the lawnmower. We also have a car that has a dead motor. Uh, we bought it that way though. So. Yep. So Tom's probably so going to that. So I got to put a motor in a car too. He sometimes gets bored, so then he's like, oh, I know. Hey, dead car, sure. <laughs> so, but hopefully we can get a lot of things wrapped up around the yard. Yep. Uh, this weekend, it's gonna rain this afternoon. Happy oh. Father's Day. Yeah, that's what I say, tomorrow's <laughs> Father's Day. So tomorrow we're gonna go to a car show for Father's Day and then have a picnic, weather permitting. So, yep. uh, we hope you all have a good Father's Day too and have fun celebrating the dads in your life. So, we hope you have a really great weekend. We would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you're notified when new videos are released. We're gonna keep talking about photos coming up this coming week. I actually ordered a bunch of photo albums, so I'm gonna go over to my mom's house and we're gonna organize her photos. So we'll share that with you coming up this week as well. So we hope you have a really great weekend.